Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for BTV at the 4 A's conference in San Francisco where I just had the opportunity to talk to Mike Bologna who heads up emerging platforms at Group M and he talks about why this is the year for online video, why he's putting clients into it and also about addressable TV and opportunities there. So we were discussing beforehand how people always like to say this is going to be the year for online video. But you've got some reasons why you think this actually will be the year for online video. Talk to me about that. Sure. So, so Again, I wouldn't be unique if I sat here and said this is the, the year for online video. We've been talking about it for a long time. But I think the current year is going to have a heavy focus on that. I think for the first time we've done, the industry's done a very good job of processing the portfolio of what we call online video and really putting it in the, in the proper buckets. Any, anything from full episodic programming to short form clips to aggregated audience to, to, to portals all the way up to user generated content. And if you look at usage with digital video, it ascends pretty much in that order. And that's probably the one thing that both Nielsen and Comscore can actually agree on. But I think in this current year, you're gonna see a lot of brands come out and really demonstrate how digital video both achieves goals and fulfills actual media objectives. So it's coming from, a, from, a, from one side of, of a media channel to, to really a, a holistic portfolio. In, within an advertiser's brand. And what I mean by that is for the first time, we actually have access to data and tools and analytics that help us measure cross-platform reach and frequency and, and understand who's watching and what we're doing across the various various silos. And, and one of the things you hear a lot of about is addressable television and, and, and where that's going and the ability to identify an audience and hyper-target to just that audience at the optimal frequency. It's gonna be a number of years before that really generates scale, but in the digital video space, we can do that now. So over the next 12 to 18 months, we believe that the spend in digital video is gonna increase because of our ability to hyper-target to an individual audience and reduce waste, and then start to level off once addressable television comes to fruition. So does the, the money that's being spent and the interest in online video, will that in turn drive addressable TV? Are they connected in that way? I think they're very connected in that way. The way we will eventually use addressable television is very much the way we're using a big part of digital video right now. And if you look at where the, 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 the audience in the digital video space, it's not really in the full episodic programming that, that, that gets all the press. It is in that, that, that other mass ocean of, of video that you can truly aggregate an audience, identify a target, reach that target, send the message only to that target audience, and ignore everybody else that you don't want to reach. That's efficiency. I mean, that's what addressability is, whether you're talking video, television, mobile, I mean, eventually, all electronic media will take that one-to-one -one addressable approach, and a digital video is where we're starting. When you talked about analytics and tools before, are there any particular ones that you have in mind that you think are finally ready for prime time? Yeah, so historically, with full-length television programming online, we've been 100% reliant on the sites to give us the data. And the challenge is they give us the data, they give us the data they want to give us, when they want to give it to us, and it prohibits us from looking at unique reach and frequency across an entire campaign. I mean, now there's systems out there like Vindico that actually will place a tag on all of our media and allow us to actually get unduplicated reach and frequency across an entire digital video campaign. That hasn't been done all that well in the past, and we can do that now, and it's important. Cool. Thank it's you, important. Mike. <laughs> 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 <laughs>